Hello, everybody. This is us in the car. I'm Kim. And I'm Laura. And Brookie Mix 3. I don't know why we did that, it but was it fun. was fun. What weird things <laughs> we have in the car. <laughs> well, we are talking about the series finale of This Is Us. <gasps> I'm so sad. I really love this show. Me too. Seriously, y'all. And, and I of, love y'all. I love doing this. Yes, we got to find another show today. I know. We have to find another show. We have to find another show. Something that's as good. So what you going to put out? Somebody actually posted on Facebook. Like, it was like a live article about is it renewed or is it canceled? And I'm like, where have you been? I know. Where, Wait, why are you trying seriously. to dig people in for that? Yeah, seriously. So, now, yeah. so this episode was just called Us. And so here is us talking about the season finale series finale of this is us i i think i felt differently than you guys so laura you go first um well first i want to just take a side note because i came from the top gun premiere go <laughs> see it very good to this so i caught all the movie trailers i mean this is a blockbuster summer movie people so yeah. i mean you saw dress i mean look all throughout my thing they even had the navy you know thing on top gun and they i mean the crawl dads movie jurassic park um the real tone google pics commercial which i thought was awesome but all the thor elvis lots of good movies so just i thought that was it's interesting movie time. That it was like movie every time. commercial had a movie um i i i did tear up a little bit i had wrote lots of notes i liked some of the comments that were made but i felt like it was just another episode like, I felt like it ended, like, why didn't it end with them explaining her squeezing his hand when Jack said, I love you, not when he said, hey, because it made you think at first that Jack squeezed her hand when he said, hey, because I wrote, oh, that's because she always said, hey, mm -hmm. and, but no, it was when she, he said, I love you, and she yes. said, I love you back, and she, well, they could have showed that with the big three sitting there, or whatever, and... But it just ended with Jack and Randall. Randall. So I was kind of confused. I like, thought this what? was way too Randall heavy. I felt like Kevin was nowhere to be seen in yeah. this. I mean, yeah. he had a very yeah. small part. I don't particularly care for that. I I, I mean, I, I didn't particularly... It was very lopsided. And I really yeah. wanted it to be more... Like it showed... Oh, he... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now. Yeah, that's a no. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I they like showed it. the pieces, you know, like a mm -hmm. the scene with, you know, and they kept showing Jack with him and Jack with each of them and her with each of them. But yeah, I felt like it okay, was. Okay, so to start whatever. from the beginning, I really liked the swing montage. I liked that they showed him with the, the babies, him and Rebecca with the babies with the swings, all the way up to yeah. Jack, little Jack with his baby on a swing. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. I mm -hmm. thought that showed all the generations and everything it really gave. But that was the very beginning. Right. And mm -hmm. then it just eroded from there into Randall. And I read somewhere that they yeah. filmed all the scenes with the young kids. They filmed four years ago. Yeah, I believe that because they, they've they, grown they now. They've grown. Yeah, so, they've, yeah. they're mm -hmm. already grown up. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, because you can even tell some of the later scenes with the, the, big, the little big three. Mm -hmm. they're bigger you can yeah. you could tell that they were bigger and everything and so yeah i i do love first of all i love swings as a kid so the Me whole too. conversation about swings yeah. and being mm -hmm. on the swing um i could really relate to because i was a swinger i mean literally i could go She's to the park <laughs> don't tell my husband <laughs> but um yeah so that that was always my favorite thing on the uh, mm -hmm. On the playground, I did not like the burn your legs slide or the weird, creepy, yeah, that rocky film, thing. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> but I did like the swings and I did love the merry-go-round. So anyway, it just was an homage back to those days, and uh, and so I appreciated that. Mm -hmm. Um, I love Beth, of course, and Beth's yes. little black dress for the funeral was fabulous. Well, when she was standing in the, I mean, she just looked like a goddess. When I know. She, like, Randall's up at the front, and she's waiting for him in the back, and the coat thing yes. over it, and all that kind of stuff. I want to know like, where she shops. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. She yeah. always looks good. Yes. She's, mm -hmm. she's, kudos to the costume people on that one, because yes. that yes. little black dress was fabulous. And I love the fact that they gave us one last worst case. Yes, I did that too. <laughs> worst case scenario callback. I did that. Mm -hmm. I love that, because Beth, she was like, okay, so let me take it, since you're not going to go here. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, you're going to want to buy an RV. I'm going to say yes to RVs, and we're going to travel the country visiting trees <laughs> for, your, <laughs> for your dead parents. <laughs> and then let's not talk about Miguel. And so, yeah. yeah, so Beth had me cracking up early on mm -hmm. um, because she just, she knows her husband, and she was trying. But it was he was so weepy and yeah. so sad and melancholy throughout um mm -hmm. i i did enjoy seeing him with deja and finding out that they're having a baby boy no you're mm -hmm. listening mm -mm. and and then naming him william Wait. i just thought it no was that great. was cute but how many of you have gotten an email about the sex of your baby oh no never been it yeah maybe in 20 like, maybe in 2035 that's what no, happened yeah. i thought they just threw that in there right mm -hmm. yeah you don't get an email no, you get it. no an email yeah, the sex of your well, baby. Well, something for her to think about, or I—I I don't know. I mean, I was thinking. I—I I thought he was cute about he surrounded by all these women. Oh yeah, now finally, and, yeah, and so now I you get a boy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I get a son this year too. Yay! Yay! Yay. 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 I'm excited about that. that. <laughs> That's my first boy. Yes. Woo I'm surrounded so. by boys, so yes. nothing new here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I mean, yes, I agree. That's not how you get email. I mean, how you find out about no, the sex baby. Starting. If nothing else, you might get a voicemail, but not an email. Well, you're at your ultrasound. They tell you then. Yeah, I did note that nothing in the Deja's, Deja's kind of become the lead yeah, of the of, girls. Of the sisters, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. that they defer to her. They're looking to her. They're, yeah, I thought mm -hmm. that was kind of picked up on that. But Yeah, and so Annie, I mean, even throughout the series, Annie had very little role. Um, and so even as an adult or an older daughter, yeah. she, thought she doesn't have much of a role. Although I did, I did like the way they did that last episode talking about um, being small. Yeah, yeah, having a voice. And still having a voice. Mm -hmm. I also liked um, when Rebecca was talking to Kevin. Mm -hmm. So we saw more little Kevin than we did big yeah. Kevin. Um, and so talking to little Kevin about um, not being able to do the the pull-ups pull mm -hmm. and everything. And, um, and him saying, you know, you're good at this conversation thing. Mm -hmm. Which moms don't get credit for. Our kids never say that. So, no. yes, this is definitely a kissable moment, and I'm taking yes. more than one kiss. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Definitely, definitely. Well, and I thought, too, when Jack was talking to the boy, or Jack was talking to Randall, mm -hmm. and he was sitting on the toilet, I thought, I've had lots of conversations like that. Oh, Where sitting on the toilet in the bathroom? Sitting, sitting Absolutely. on the toilet. One person sitting on the toilet, one person's mm -hmm. at the sink, or even the mm -hmm. tub, or whatever, and you just mm -hmm. start having a conversation, and I thought, oh, you know, that's kind of like a... Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. so bringing Jack, because Jack hasn't been involved in a lot of the last few uh, mm -hmm. episodes. Um, it's been mostly Rebecca-centered, of course. But so having him go back and be with the boys and watching him shape, yeah. I wonder how much of that was scripted and how... I, it, I just kept thinking about him as an actor doing this with these boys yeah. and um, just how proud he must have been at that moment, knowing this was probably some of the last takes he's mm -hmm. going to have with them. And, and just being able to um, see that, I, I felt like it was a very genuine moment, yeah. a very father. And talking about the collecting moment. the little moments and how yeah. they don't understand it. They're like, whatever. Yeah, dad is monologuing yeah. and I just want to yeah. shave. But obviously, <laughs> uh, Randall and Kevin were remembering that, right. you know, at the funeral or whatever. Mm -hmm. I do have to say that I'm disturbed, and we talked about this last week, that where's Philip? Except the yeah. shoulder without saying his head. Yeah. On the pan. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. get that we all are upset because, you know, the whole Kate and Toby thing. But I'm just like, why are you why? Having, still having these really intimate moments with your yes. ex-husband? Yeah. Where's your husband? Right. Just going to say. There could have been other things. They could have had Toby with Kevin and Randall mm -hmm. um, to bring him back. I, 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 of course, we want to see Toby back in the yeah. fray. But it did not have to be with Kate. I, I just, I, I, I'm with you. I felt a little uncomfortable about that because he's got a wife, I think, at yeah. this point, and then so does she. He's she's married to Philip, and you know, I just, I, I wanted to see more of the other part of the family. Yeah, you know, I wanted to see not just the big three, but I wanted to see their kids and see what they were doing. I, I just wanted mm -hmm. a little bit more closure on the whole family. Yeah, I, I liked um, that they had. Toby and Kate talk mm -hmm. like for I think for the fans like to have a wrap up maybe not the I love you yeah and that you know but mm -hmm. 
I and he know. said he overstepped, but he overstepped last week too. Yeah. Yeah. But I did. I thought that. I think there are a lot of people that are Team Toby and. That. And I get so that having them see a good relationship. Yeah, and whatever, I actually but, put that on one of my mm -hmm. likes. Yeah. I didn't like the, you know, but I did like. I think I would have liked to see more intimate closure with a lot of the characters, mm -hmm. and we didn't get that. Mm -hmm. No. And I, my note was, I didn't feel like the episode was organized right with mm -hmm. how they grouped, like what they decided to show and not show, maybe right. what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Anyway, that's why I have my little um, thumbs down emoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, of course, I, every time William is on screen, it's phenomenal. Yeah. They give yeah. him William, the, I, whoever yeah. writes for William gives him the best lines. Yes. Yes, yeah. that was one of my likes. I like I, William and Randall. And so and we, I, I, okay, mm -hmm. so correct me if I'm wrong. When we saw him leaving with Randall originally in, in, in season one, we saw him talking to the girls in the bed, but we don't see the conversation with him and Randall in the hall. No. Mm -hmm. So that so. was all at it, right? Yeah. I think okay, that so it. that whole conversation in the hall I thought was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Me too. And, um, and I really, really liked that. Uh, I also liked the conversation that Rebecca had, I think it was early on, talking about being afraid of the time with her father ending so much so that she wasn't really enjoying the time she was spending. Um, and and I think, of course, that's a metaphor for all of our lives. To talk, I think sometimes we get so caught up in what's going to happen when it's done, even like with this this mm -hmm. uh, series and maybe even for them as actors in their careers what's going to happen when this is us is over you know my husband threw a dig he said they're never going to get jobs again they're all been typecast this is mm -hmm. what they are and they're not going to find jobs i don't know but there's some they have yeah, they're, they're pretty been, good they actors had, they've all been doing some random things right. outside movies and, and stuff. i agree but you know I, i'm sure they have to have that question oh my gosh what's going to happen after this right. what am i mm -hmm. going to do after this um, and and hopefully they were able to enjoy the ride while they were mm -hmm. while they were doing it. I know I did. I know I wasn't looking forward to it being gone, but I I definitely enjoyed every episode and every season of this um, series more so than any other series I've ever watched before. I mean, and I was Me a big too. Cosby Cosby person, mm -hmm. and, um, and so I've, I've I've had some other series that I really liked growing up, but this as an adult definitely my favorite. Mm -hmm. Well, and I liked when the big three were sitting on the steps and they were talking about, you know, Randall was like, what, what, um, I've got a secret when I think of family, I think of y'all. And I thought, mm -hmm. what, what version of your family do you see? Yeah. And how we all see different versions. And we've talked mm -hmm. about that all throughout the show, the perspective, mm -hmm. people can be in the same family and yet they have different perspectives and they have different things that happen. But what do you see when you see family? Like really honestly, cause you know, like I think it was kind of alluding to as you're growing up and you see all these different things, you think one thing or you think their parents are weird, you think this, you think yeah. that. Then you realize who the parents are as you get older. And, you know, I don't know. I just, it just made me think about what, when I think of family, what do I see? Yeah. So. Well, and I think of my family, my, my, I was calling my, my mom and dad and my siblings like my first family. Mm -hmm. Like they're my first family. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah. That's, that's a core, mm -hmm. you know. I, I, when I think of my family, um, I think of my current family. I think of my husband and, and, and my kids. When I think of home sometimes, though, like when I dream of home, it's my grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. um, because that was where gathering of all of our family was. It was where I felt the safest as a child. Um, and the most stability as a child because we moved around a lot but that was always home based mm -hmm. um and so whenever i think of that i think of that but my i, I i've always felt at home with my husband mm -hmm. you know yeah. so yeah. kudos to donald ross <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of the tears i loved that when they were sitting there again the big three sitting and you know, Kevin made a joke about that, about why well, I couldn't, I couldn't, whatever, because you cried so much. We were drowning in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, they made, you know, that they kind of picked up on, mm -hmm. we're making jokes about each other or whatever, and that it's, you know, that if you drift, I'll follow you, you know, that it's mm -hmm. not, and a lot of times we say those things, and then things happen in family, and you're not this close, you know, you go through these seasons, and And person, obviously, considering what they all have going on, you know, mm -hmm. Kevin is, you know, working on a foundation, which we don't really, we didn't get enough of. 
Yeah. We didn't, I mean, for me, the foundation was just about building the house. Yeah. Um, and, and so we didn't really see him developing as a professional outside of acting. Um, I kind of missed that. We, we hear about Kate mm-hmm. and all the stuff she's done, but we didn't really get to experience that as well. They could have done another season. Just yeah. the grown up, yeah. all these kids, all of them grown up and doing better. Yeah. You know, and mm-hmm. them drifting. See, yeah. there's another season right there. And so <laughs> he's, Randall's running for president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kate's flying all over the world doing um, curriculum for the blind, mm-hmm. and Kevin is has his foundation, and mm-hmm. I would love to see that. And I just I, I I don't feel like everybody got the benefit of growth. Yeah, of professional growth. I think we saw them emotionally and personally grow, but I didn't feel like we saw them professionally right. grow, like they're alluding to. Mm-hmm. I was kind of wanting a little bit more futuristic. Mm-hmm. to show up oh, okay i wanted so, to see little jack yeah when i'm gonna piggyback when they were showing the scene with william talking about you know the role grandparent. of the grandparent mm-hmm. so in my mind after that i thought it may have been you see the baby baby yeah. william or right. see them just a glimpse of the grandchildren talking about their grandmother right yeah or their their grandfather they didn't mm-hmm. know right. because mm-hmm. you know like they just said she knew William. Wasn't pointless. Yeah. Mm-hmm, because but she knew him pretty much. To me, I, I felt there was a little slide of Jack with mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You know, that there were, I don't know, I just think the show, they could have done something a little richer and deeper. Right? Yeah. Well, see, they already is a little Jack. Kate took care of Jack. So, because William, we, we everybody loves William, I think doing an homage to William Well, was, I don't mean like, uh, just namesake. I just mm-hmm. mean like something to have some closure there with right. the grandparents oh, being yeah yeah that they're going into that ja- yes mm-hmm. and, and i did like i liked that they had william in there that mm-hmm. they brought and that they were going to have a, a new little william i did like that well and was it kate that said to, to jack about as long as i know where you are i always know yeah. where i'm going she said mm-hmm. that to all of them because yeah. that when oh, they're yeah. doing pin the tail on the donkey oh yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah I like and i'm like okay so yeah that's the First of all, like as a, as brothers, what they do next time is they move. Just because she said that. <laughs> it's yeah. like the next time we play in the tail on the donkey, I'm going to move yeah. because you just told me you just gave up your hand. And so uh-huh. it was sentimental to us. But as siblings, yeah. they're like, okay, now I know. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I know I'm moving over there so yeah. you can't get this right because mm-hmm. I'm tired of you winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and I think that scene and all just reminded me that you hope that's what your kids remember. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes, especially parents, if you have teenagers, it gets better. I promise. Yeah. But, you know, they, they kind of tend to always remember the bad stuff when yeah. they're young. But you want them to remember the fun times playing Pin the Tail of the Donkey or even yeah. a day just sitting around doing or watching bingo. movies yes. or bingo or <laughs> whatever it is. Thing. Yeah, we had snack, you know, we had, you know, snacky night and game, you know, game night on the girls' floor. You want them to remember that stuff, not just the stuff that's putting them in therapy when they're older, oh, you know? The, the stuff they're, talk, they're waiting to talk to Oprah about. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, basically. <laughs> Oprah's coming back. I'm going to be on her show and I'm telling on you. Right. <laughs> right. Luckily, no videos when we're in their level. Yeah. So, but yeah. But yeah. I, I, okay, I had a question. Who played Foursquare? Did y'all I play did. I did. I, I'm sure we played Foursquare in elementary school at some point, but I do not remember this game. Tell me, what, what is Foursquare? You have a ball, and there's four. There's like a big square, and it's divided into four squares, and you basically yeah. are bouncing the ball and to you, each other. So yeah. what's the point of it? The point is that uh, you try to keep somebody from catch like we would like do sneaky things like where you're shooting the ball at an angle so they can't catch it and then they had to sit out and yeah Mm -hmm. and then the the last because she was saying she 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 slows the game down well didn't didn't she just get out i thought she was saying because she was a fifth person so it made the game go longer that's what i thought oh oh yeah never played it I, I have like I have like word memories associated with Foursquare, not necessarily the game itself. You no, know, like people. 
yeah. saying things I about my in, name and stuff like that. neighborhood <laughs> friends. Yeah, we were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There I was watching. playing jacks and hopscotch. I did four we did that too. In, in I just didn't play mm -hmm. four square. Red, so, River, um, Red River. See what the generation that Amos is out on. I, 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 I mean, it's, I, I appreciated all of those throwbacks. Yeah. The yeah, swing, the four square, the things that showed the generational continuity yeah. um, and just the togetherness um, and so I, I could appreciate that and I think they I, I think that was the basics of what they wanted to do was show that through all of these generations these things remain yeah and um, and that nobody's forgotten and nothing is useless and and none of it is um, it's something that, that that you just feel like it doesn't have any worth and so all of these family memories are important mm -hmm. yeah all the little moments, like Jack said. But I thought it was interesting that, and, and they kind of ended on, like, it, and it's all about the love because of the fact that she squeezed his hand, not yeah. when he said, hey, like mm -hmm. I thought at the beginning of the episode, mm -hmm. but when he said, I love you. Yeah, and, and that, said, you. that was a very big, oh, mm -hmm. moment for me. That was pretty yeah. sad. That, it wasn't perhaps sad. It was very yeah. sentimental. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. sentimental. Um, and... I guess because I've watched a bunch of videos with um, Milo and um, Mandy and just talking about those mm -hmm. last scenes they did together. And so to see them, uh, it's pretty special. Yeah. They yeah. did something really special with This Is Us. Dan mm -hmm. Fogelman had a vision that he really was able to um, bring to life. I hope, I, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever he's going to do well, next. Well, and the other guy, who's the other guy that did uh, 30? 30 uh, Rock? No, 30... Mm -hmm. The other big show. Um, oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. 30-something? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that guy okay. is... He was in the show and produced at the end, and he helped produce a lot of these. I can't think of his name. Huh. But um, we'll think of it here in a second. Don't know. Yep. But anyway, but he does all these big shows, too. So, Ken Olin. Ken Olin, that's what it is. And oh, so, he did... Okay. He was in 30-something, and then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was a kind of a big drop, you know, drop piece, whatever. People who did like Parenthood or Parenthood and all those good shows like yeah, this. Those were good shows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think they'll do? Do you think they'll do a spinoff? I hope not. I really no. hope not because I don't want to damage right this. I don't know. I was left wanting more though. I, I am wanting more, but I want more of all of them. I, want, I don't want yeah, more. Yeah. I like I. I don't want pieces or little you know yeah I, mm -hmm. I want the story to continue but i don't want to see it taken apart it's kind of yeah. like you gotta have that good like talking about shows alias one of my favorite shows i still watch i've got all six seasons we get to about season five and yep they could have like ended it good and then mm -hmm. they kind of went off into the crazy mm -hmm. yeah whatever that thing was and <laughs> They had to pull it back in. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's what so they call I'm jumping the shark. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't, like, <laughs> take this to where they, they did, went too far. They definitely did not jump the shark. They left you with wanting more but feeling satisfied. Right. And I think that's what the, the purpose was. And they mm -hmm. already they always knew it was going to be six seasons. And so yes. they, they, they planned for that. it to be what it was. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I, I, I'm appreciative. I mean, I think... We could all think of other things they could have done, maybe differently, would have wanted to see a little mm -hmm. bit differently, but I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. Ladies. Either way, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> this Doesn't really matter. was us. <laughs> it was us. Ladies, all what right. are we going to do from here? We should say big three. Oh, first came me, and mom said G. G. Dad said G. Dad said G. Dad said G. Then came me. Mom, mom said we. we. Then, then came, came me. me. <laughs> and and said, mom and said that's three. three. Yes. Big, Big three. three. <laughs> We, we, we did it at the beginning. That, no, that was totally <laughs> impromptu. I would have rehearsed and practiced. Yes, big three. So, but so long to all of our fans yes, and to everybody. You. If you have another show that you would like to see us discuss in the car, let, let us know. know. Put it in hey. the comments. Like, subscribe. Ooh. <laughs> We're out. Bye.